So you are planning on buying a SIM card in Burundi? Well, congratulations! Yes, congratulations! Because Burundi is the sixth cheapest African nation to get data, meaning that you can get data at bargain prices. But besides the bargain prices, the quality of service is actually also quite good. So in this video, I will tell you all about buying a SIM card in Burundi, including which SIM card is the best. So let's just get started, shall we? Hi. It's Odo for Phone Travelers here where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone from local SIM cards, SIM card reviews, international roaming, mobile hotspots, just everything related to traveling with your phone. And if that sounds like something that's relevant for you, make sure to subscribe. So today we'll be focusing on the beautiful country called Burundi. Well, in particular SIM cards in Burundi because that's why I'm interested in, and that's also what you're interested in because that's why you clicked on this video. So let's just start with number one which is the operators in Burundi. In Burundi we have three operators. We have Lumi Econet Burundi and Smart Burundi. You may be thinking, well, that sounds good, but you know, where can I actually buy the SIM card? Well, I'm glad you asked because number two is where can you actually buy the SIM cards? If you go to any of the official stores of these operators, so of Lumitel, Econet Burundi, I would just say Econet and Smart, you can buy your SIM card there. But number three, SIM card registration regulations. If you've watched any of my other Africa related videos or live in Africa, you know that you have to bring your passport to just uh, your passport details from buying a SIM card. The same applies in Burundi. So make sure to bring it because otherwise they cannot sell you your SIM card when you're trying to buy it. Number four, how much does a SIM card cost in Burundi? Well, you can get a Lumitel and an Econet SIM card for 500 FBU, which stands for Burundian franc, and Smart sells the SIM card for 1000 Burundian franc or FBU. But the thing is, with Lumitel, there are multiple SIM cards that you can choose from. And on the screen, I will show you all the types of SIM cards you can buy. But the SIM card that I was referring to, so the 500 version, that's the yellow SIM card. And in most cases, if you're traveling in Burundi, just get the yellow SIM card. If you're local, I would also recommend getting a yellow SIM card, unless you know that you spent at least 5,000 FBU on, well, calling data or whatever, then you may consider the other SIM cards because they come with their own perks. But if you want to learn more about these perks, make sure to go to my blog post, phonetravel.com slash burundi guide, which is also in the description down below and the pinned comment. And then you can read more about these perks. But in most cases, the yellow SIM card will be fine if you go with Lumitel, especially as a traveler. Don't waste your money on all the other fancy SIM cards. That's just a waste of money. Number five, well, what is the best SIM card in Burundi? Well, like many other African nations, we actually have three options in Burundi. So one of them is the best, or maybe two, or maybe all of them, well, not all of them, are, are not the best and it's a clear winner that's the best which is Lumitel. Lumitel is the best operator in Burundi. They have the best coverage and they're actually also more affordable than the other operators for some reason. In fact they are the cheapest if we look at the data only plans and you know we look at the average for the prepaid plans. Maybe for postpaid that's different but I don't look at postpaid because travelers cannot get those and if you plan on going to rural Burundi make sure to go with Lumitel because Lumitel actually focused on building their infrastructure in rural Burundi first before going to the capital. Okay well they also had something in the capital but they focused a lot on the rural parts which is how they became big because most operators just focus on the populated areas because that's where they can get the most money but Lumitel thought let's just focus on rural Burundi let's get that better and well now they are the biggest and the best operator and they are the cheapest which is like wow three strikes no not three strikes three stars yes they're doing well so now that you know that which SIM card is the best there are still a few other things you want to know about like mobile coverage speeds package prices and when we're not we will get to that okay so number seven what about mobile data speeds in Burundi well mobile data speeds are quite good in Burundi. I say quite good. On top of my head, I'm not sure what the African average is. Maybe I will show it down on the screen, but you know, it, it's quite okay. This means that you can browse social media in peace, watch YouTube videos, maybe with a little bit of buffering, especially more rural parts, unless you go with Lumitel, but even then the speeds are not as high compared to in the capital. But speed-wise, it's not really a big concern when you go to Burundi compared to some neighboring countries, so that's good to know. So what about coverage? The coverage in Burundi is actually quite good, especially for African standards or especially in that that region and when I say that region I'm referring to East Africa on the screen you will see the coverage map of the three operators so you will see Lumitel now and after Lumitel you will see Econet and now I will show you the one of Smart 
and these are the coverage map provided by Speedtest, the mobile app, which is very useful. But you will see the coverage is, you know, not too, not too shabby, especially with Lumitel. So it's, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so what about mobile data prices? Let's mention in the introduction, Burundi is the sixth cheapest place to get mobile data in Africa. According to the Alliance for Affordable Internet, they found that the cost of one gigabyte of data in Burundi will cost you 3.17 USD. Well, the East African average is 4.99 USD, or just say 5 USD, whereas the total African average so when looking at Africa in general the average cost of one gigabyte of data will cost you 6.45 USD so you will see that Boeing is actually extremely cheap which is quite surprising and when we look at the world average then we look at the data from cable.co.uk because they look at the whole world then you will see that the world average is a little bit more than 5 USD I think on top of my head it's 5.3 USD so Boeing is actually below the world average which is quite remarkable because most African nations are above the world average so that's uh, that's good to know. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the packages that are offered by the operators, or at least how much it costs and what you actually get. Because I've been saying that, you know, prices are very cheap here, but we need to see, you know, what can we actually get. So let's just take a look. If you look at this table that I'm showing you on the screen, which may be a bit too small to read, especially on a mobile device, I will zoom in when I focus on a particular operator, but I just want to show you, well, what this available and just to let you know these are not all the packages that are offered by these operators no in fact like Lumitel they have like 50 60 70 different packages that you can actually choose from and if I would show you that all one well, you will get bored too that's just too much information so what I usually do with my videos is I will show all the packages that come with at least one gigabyte of data or 1000 megabytes you know I include those as well all the way up to five gigabyte of data I exclude special packages like night packages social media packages stuff like that but other operators offer these type of this as well if you want to see those make sure to go to fontwist.com slash the desk guide or you know check in the description down below or the pinned comment in the comments so let's see which packages meet these requirements and let's start with Lumitel with Lumitel we have two packages and those are both data only packages that meet the requirements starting from actually 1000 FPU which is the one down below which will get you 1.5 gigabytes of data but it's only valid for one day so that's why it's so cheap but when we're looking at the regular packages which are called the Bookcat Classic or the Classic Data Packages Starting from 5000 FP you will get 1 gigabyte of data or 1.5 gigabyte of data for 4G and 1 for 3G starting from 15 days If you get a uh, Unitel 3G SIM card you get less data compared to those who get a 4G SIM card and you won't pay any more for a 4G SIM card so I don't understand why you would go for a 3G SIM card so in all cases you will get much more data with the 4G SIM card compared to a 3G get yourself a 4G SIM card when going with Lumitel with Econet we also have internet bouquets and there's also a dedicated packages for 4G so all the packages except for the internet bouquet 4G one is on 3G speeds Starting from 2500 FPU, you can get 1 gigabyte of data for 2 days. 5500, you'll get 1 gigabyte of data for 15 days. And you get no minutes or anything like that. And the 4G one, for 10,000 FPU, you get 2000 megabytes for 30 days. There are more 4G packages, but once again, you have to go to my post for that. Burundi, no, photos.com slash Burundi, this guy. With smart, 3 packages meet the requirements. One is a combo plan called Empamba. For 3500, you will get one gigabyte of data and 20 minutes for seven days all the other ones are data only one for 1999 fpu or just 2000 fpu you get one gigabyte of data for three days and all the way up to 1400 fpu you get 3.5 gigabytes of data for 30 days and for the bouquets well I, I, I cannot pronounce that I, I don't know how to say that you get one gigabyte of data during the day and two gigabyte of data that can be used between 12 a.m and 6 a.m. at night or morning depends on how you refer to it and this one is valid for six days so those are the packages that are offered that's all you need to know about buying a sim card in Burundi normally I would also maybe talk about international sim cards and one which provider but since sim cards are data is so cheap here in Burundi I, I can't really think of anything that will be even cheaper so that's it for buying a sim card in Burundi which sim card are you gonna try are you going with Lumitel which I would recommend and if you don't do it well why not comment down below which sim card you're gonna try and if you have been to Burundi before or if you are living in Burundi share your experiences with your operator if you're going to other African nations make sure to check out this playlist where I talk about buying a sim card in other African places once again I'm Aldo from phone Travelers. I talk about everything related to traveling with your phone like local sim cards like in this video 
also do local SIM card reviews that were international roaming, international SIM cards, just everything related to traveling with your phone. If that sounds like your thing, make sure to subscribe and also check out my blog at phonetourist.com. I do this type of guides for traveling the morning guide as well, but then in written form, I usually more detailed. That's it for today, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.